she's um, incredible and a phenomenal actress, but more than that, a great person and inspires me to do what I love. Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner are total relationship goals and we have the proof. From their instant connection to their low-key love story, these two are totally meant for each other. It goes down in the DMs, as the kids say. The two first started talking when the Joe bro slipped into her Instagram DMs and started chatting things up. Joe talked about it with Dr. Phil in 2019. We had two friends who tried to introduce us that I think take credit for us meeting, but the reality is that I took matters in my own hands and I, as the kids say, slid into her DMs. And, and right into her heart. Right into her heart. Yeah, so then we went back and very forth for about a month. Of you. Yeah, very electronic. Very millennial. And then a month later, we met in London, and it was just, it was on. We knew it was something unique, and it was kind of in a season where we both were really busy. So we were dating uh, our kind of around tour schedules, her film schedule, and I'll cut to here we are two and a half years later. They ended up meeting up at a bar in the UK, and Sophie brought along some friends because she was actually worried he might be a catfish. They apparently hit it off big time as Sophie later gushed to Elle magazine about what it was like hanging out the first time, saying, quote, We talked for hours and hours and hours, and I was like not bored. It wasn't contrived. It wasn't small talk. It was just so easy. And soon we were like inseparable. I went on tour with him. They continued dating and kept pretty mum about their love life, not really saying much to the press and not posting too much online. They were spotted out together a lot in photos caught by the paparazzi, and they looked super happy and loved up. Sophie spoke out about their relationship for the first time in July 2017, saying, I'm in a relationship, but it's a very private relationship. They took things to the next level when they adopted an adorable puppy together in 2017 that was named Porky Basquiat, who is the identical brother of their other dog, Waldo Picasso, who sadly passed away in 2019 after being hit by a car in New York City. Things heated up in October 2017 when Sophie revealed they were engaged in an Instagram post that shows their hands and she's rocking a stunning massive engagement ring. She captioned the snap, I said yes. Less than a month later, they had a star-studded engagement party, which was attended by all the Joe Bros, Danielle Jonas, Ashley Graham, and more celebrities. Sophie, along with Danielle Jonas and Priyanka Chopra, made a splash in February 2019 when they appeared in the Jonas Brothers hit music video for their bop, Sucker. In April 2019, the actress chatted with Dr. Phil and revealed how Joe has seen the worst of her and doesn't judge her. I won't be judged by him. He's seen the worst. Yeah? Yeah. You've seen the worst and it was horrible, wasn't it, Joe? Yeah. <laughs> when someone tells you they love you every day, it makes you really think about why that is and I think it makes you love yourself a bit more. So yeah, I love myself. That same month, Sophie chatted with Access Hollywood and shared why her wedding would be different than Joe's brother Nick and Priyanka Chopra's big day. She also revealed that her Game of Thrones co-star, Maisie Williams, was planning her bachelorette party. No dance numbers. Um, I think, you know... Really? The, yeah. Aww. Because, like, the thing is, is that, you know, Priyanka's family are very, like, in the entertainment industry and they can all dance and sing, and Joe's family obviously can, and my family are not. Like, my brother's a doctor, my other brother's a lawyer, like, it's just, it wouldn't be very... Oh, wow, you're really like the runt of the litter. You're yeah, I know. I'm the runt. <laughs> the creative, I suppose. Now, Maisie, are you planning her bachelorette... Oh, wait, it's not called a bachelorette. Is it no. a hendu? Hendu. A hendu. Are you planning yeah. the hendu? She is. I already know what's happening. You don't think I know, but I know. What's happening? I don't wish I knew. Is it as protected as the Game of Thrones <laughs> finale? Look, you like, hate having any secrets from you. The couple first tied the knot in Las Vegas. It was even officiated by an Elvis impersonator. Diplo actually spilled the beans, live streaming the event as it went down after the Billboard Music Awards. Their sister-in-law Priyanka Chopra chatted with Axis Hollywood in May 2019 and said their Vegas wedding was so Jofi. That was so fun. It was so fun. And it's so Jofi. I call them Jofi. It's like, trust them to do that. Like it was, that was, that is Jofi. Was there a dress code for the Vegas wedding or was no, it come as you are? We, it was really funny. We were at the billboards. Joe, I think, had this idea that he wanted to do this. 
Um, but we were at the billboards and he had these little black cards that we all got and we were like randomly inviting our friends, like people that we met. We were like, all right, we're going to set up this wedding now. We're going to the chapel right from here and please arrive, and please arrive. So we had Diplo, like Khalid, they were really sweet, they arrived. Diplo Instagram live the whole thing, it was awesome. Thank God for the rest of us <laughs> watching at home. It was so funny. I mean, we were driving around this pink Hummer limo. I was outside the window. It was just ep epic. I had that long hair extensions that I thought that's gonna fly out of the window. It was that, that kind of night. Joe actually explained on Sirius XM in 2019 that his parents found out about their Vegas wedding online. Well, in my mind, you know, that was the, the legal portion of, of the marriage. So I, I was thinking, I was like, yeah, look, this is not the most important day. There's an important day. I mean, I'll keep private, but uh, ahead of us. So we were like, this is like just whoever's in town. But they have an amazing restaurant in North Carolina. <laughs> And I think like a couple of their staff walked up and were like, congratulations, I saw. And then they had to find out. And they were like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so I was doing a lot of like careful apologizing. apologizing. After that, the duo made a splash on the Met Gala red carpet in colorful Louis Vuitton looks. Joe rocked a colorful patterned top and black pants with matching black shoes. While Sophie looked stunning in a brightly patterned jumpsuit that was belted at the waist in black stilettos. She accessorized with a clutch, slick back hair and bold eyeshadow. In June 2019, while the Joe Rose were promoting their Amazon documentary, Chasing Happiness, Joe talked about how his wife helped reunite the band in this exclusive interview with Access Hollywood. That's probably more so what I meant when I said she helped, just helped me personally. You know, I think mm -hmm. when we were all having these conversations, the closest people to us are the ones we relied on for their advice and opinion. And, um, she never really lived through the years of me doing this with the brothers and she, she obviously saw a lot of DNC so it, it was really helpful to get her take on it and also her support. I, I see her amazing relationship she has with her brothers and mm -hmm. that's really encouraging. So this was an, an important thing to be able to mend and, and, and to have her support meant everything. Joe and Sophie did go on to have an epic wedding in France that same month and they went all out. The musician opened up to Dr. Phil in 2019 about why they chose France for their big day. Kind of mutual ground for us, and we both have spent a lot of time in France together. And yeah. so we and were It's out also there. amazing. It also happens to be the most romantic, <laughs> one of the most romantic places in the world. Right. It's going to be a really beautiful wedding. Sophie looks stunning in a custom Louis Vuitton wedding dress that's made of flower embroidered tulle and took more than 350 hours to make, according to Women's Wear Daily. Their big day was spent with family and friends, including Nick Jonas, Priyanka Chopra, Kevin and Danielle Jonas, and Sophie's Game of Thrones co-star and BFF Maisie Williams, who served as her maid of honor. Following their big day, they had not one but two honeymoons in the Maldives and one in Italy. Talk about romantic. In February 2020, news broke that the couple was expecting their first child together. From their instant connection and major chemistry, to their low-key love story. These are the reasons why Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner are total relationship goals.